What's up guys and welcome to episode 3 of Botting to Max with AHK. This is a pretty great episode, a lot happens, the account makes huge progress. I'm actually pretty excited to release this, so I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, the first thing to start with this video is getting 43 prayer. I decided to do it at the altar in the wilderness to save a little bit of money. It doesn't take very long, it helps out a lot with quests. And of course, I already have a script for it. Of course, it's meant for a guild altar, so it's not perfect, but it does help. Alright, we just got 43 prayer, 35 combat. I'd say we're pretty set right now. We're the bank value is still 750k, so um, pretty solid. Much better than what uh, what I really thought I'd be at this point. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and do some quests. The last quest that I did that I didn't screenshot was the tourist trap, and I did this just to skip past the early levels of fletching because they're horrible. So I go from 10 to 40 here in the background, and this is obviously just making darts. It's the fastest way, and it's the most expensive way to train fletching, or at least one of the most expensive. So I'm going to go ahead and let this run in the background, and I'll see you guys in just a minute. So last night I needed some leather for a quest, and I couldn't buy any. So I bought the cowhide and said, screw it, I'll just go do it myself. Came back, sold the extra, and just stuck them in, and they sold for 5k a piece. So I was like, alright, well, guess nobody's uh, will be selling them. So I went and bought 300, tanned them real quick, two sold for 6.5k, and I stuck the rest for 3k in. And then overnight they actually sold, so I made 900k for no reason so this is awesome so it should help a lot so after that little bit of luck with the cow hides I spent some of that on steel bars made about 8,000 cannonballs until I got to the point where I decided meh I don't want to do this anymore I want to make something else while I'm at work and have this account progress in a little bit better and quicker fashion and maybe something that's not so bot like like cannonballs So I'm currently sitting at 41 fletching, uh, well, from 10 to 40 was entirely darts as you saw earlier. Um, I really just want to skip those early levels so I could get into stringing bows that were a little bit better and just didn't take so long. Um, so I wrote a quick script uh, just for stringing bows, it's pretty fleshed out, I've tested it a little bit here as you can see. Um, this is just enough bows to get to 50 so I can start doing maple shorts. Um, this script just does stringing because between that and cutting this is faster and the difference in money making is pretty much non-existent at the lower levels. So I'm going to let this run. I will see you guys when we're 50. So while it's running in the background, I want to take a quick second and kind of explain briefly how this script works. So what happens is I have a script, I hit a button and it starts the loop. Inside the loop, it randomly declares a value for each variable that I have set. So I then set the parameters for that value, which I use to kind of set up a box within the bank booth. And within that bank booth, it's going to click on random values each time the loop continues. And the loop goes from the time it pulls the stuff out of the bank till the time it clicks back at the bank and it starts all over again. And each time it does this, and every single time it does this, the values are completely different than what they were previously. Now on top of that, each iteration of the loop, it also has a random set of values for the sleep or the time in between each action being completed. 
So I actually set these values for these sleeps or these pauses a little bit longer. So this script only does about 2,000 bows an hour, whereas max efficiency is about 2,400 an hour. This is actually on purpose. I do this because, well, one, a fully efficient bot or script is going to be kind of detectable by Jagex. It's not going to be very human-like, especially if you're running a huge period of time. But also, it makes it more stable because a lag in the game could actually throw off the script enough to cause it to click outside because it just runs on a timer. So if it doesn't pull up the screen in time, it'll just click off to the side and it'll flip out. If this happens where it flips out due to a lag or something, the script has to be able to detect that and go ahead and log out or stop the script so it doesn't just keep repeating itself and, and clicking all over the map and being bot-like like a broken bot for hours on end causing me to get reported in that band. Uh, what is running in the background right now doesn't actually have that. I forgot to include it in this initial version of the script. However, later on in the video I actually briefly explained that I added some error detection and kind of polished up the script and made it run a lot smoother and a lot better and it becomes extremely stable. I actually had one instance that caused that where I didn't realize I hadn't included the error detection and it had been off clicking way off to the northwest for almost three straight hours while I was at work and I got reported God knows how many times and I'm really glad that my account didn't get banned or this video would not be happening or at the very least it would be a completely different video. All right, so we finished the willow longbows. So now we're 50 fletching. I went ahead and bought enough maple short bows to get to 55, so we can start doing maple longbows. Um, as you can see, I already did a few. That's because I made a quick change to the script. All I did was allow it f allow me to say how many inventories I'd like to complete. I could change just how many bows, but this is a little bit easier, and I don't really care. Uh, but this allows me to specify just how long I want the script to go. Otherwise, if I'm not at the computer, which I frequently am not when I run these, it'll just keep going, and if I don't catch it quickly, it could lead to somebody reporting me because my account's walking off for whatever reason. I don't want that. Plus, it could lead to just weird behavior like clicking an empty bank booth or an empty bank slot for no reason. Yeah, I don't want to do that. So, I okay, will see you guys when this is finished. We'll be 55. Hopefully, it runs well. All right, so the script is finished up. Just hit 55 fletching, which is phenomenal. The script ran amazingly. No no mess ups, no snags, nothing. So now what we're going to do is string all just almost 5K of these maple longbows to hit 65 and be able to use shorts. We're just going to run this and let it go. It should take eh, just under three hours, I think. So... We'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm going to briefly explain the color detection part of the script because I haven't mentioned it yet. So the change that I made here is just to make it to where it only completes so many inventories or so many iterations of the loop. Now, if it runs off the screen and that's all I had there, it's not going to stop it. So what I do is I add a bit of error detection. So within that loop, I say every time it goes to the bank chest, or every time it 
ends the loop and it goes to click it again. Check. And it checks a box that I kind of outline with coordinates and it checks it for a color that I pulled the value off of with another script of that little gray outline of the bank boot there. If it detects that gray outline in that small box that I set up, the script will keep going and it works great. If it doesn't detect it though, it means that the script is broken and it needs to log out. So it activates the logout function, which is a really simple function I designed just so it goes down, clicks the logout button and closes everything. Stops the script, exits, logs out, done. And then a little window pops up telling me the script failed and how many inventories it completed before failing. All right, so we finished the video off at 85 fletching. We hit a bank value at the end of this with 7.7 .7 mil, which is, I mean, just insane. We made so much more of this video than we did last video that was dedicated to money making. So I know a lot of this video was fletching, and I'm sorry for that. I hope it was still pretty entertaining. I hope I explained some of the AHK a little bit better. Plan to do that for every video from here on, kind of give a little bit of insight as to how I think and how the AHK itself works. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it and I'm excited for episode four.